We're talking about different types of prayer, different expressions of prayer, and today we want to talk about the prayer of supplication. It's interesting to note that the words used most often in both the Old Testament and the New Testament have to do with asking a superior, petitioning a king to supply a need in your life. When we study the, the prayers of the Bible, it's amazing that most of them are prayers of supplication, and it's amazing to see how God worked. For example, back in Genesis, we read about uh, Abraham's servant asking God to give him success in his mission of trying to find a wife for Isaac. We see Jacob when he was encountering trouble with his brother Esau, crying out to God, God, bless me. Hannah, when she really wanted to have a child, prayed, God, remember me. David, as we talked about with his sin, said, God, wash me. God, cleanse me. Solomon prayed, give me wisdom to lead these people. Jabez prayed, bless me and enlarge my territory. When uh, Elijah wanted to see fire from heaven to get the whole nation of Israel to return to the Lord, he said, God, answer me. King Hezekiah, when he was facing uh, military defeat, prayed and said, Lord, deliver us. Ezra said pretty much the same thing when he was in the same situation and he prayed, help us. When Nehemiah needed the king's blessing to go back to Jerusalem and rebuild the walls, he said, grant me favor with this king. When he was facing a lot of opposition in building the walls, he prayed, Lord, strengthen my hands. When the disciples were in a storm on the Sea of Galilee, they prayed, Lord, save us. The blind men cried out, Lord, have mercy. The tax collector said, Lord, have mercy on me, a sinner. The thief on the cross prayed, remember me today when you enter your kingdom. And Jesus on the cross prayed, Father, Forgive them, for they know not what they do. These are all personal prayers asking God to supply personal needs. And what's interesting is they're short, they're simple, and God answered every one of those prayers, yes, and in many cases, He not only gave them what they asked for, but He gave them more than what they asked for. Don't be afraid to ask God for what you need today. Give Him four or five things that you really need and ask God to supply your needs.